7 News at 9 starts now. Finding a perfect match, a local woman meeting the total stranger she donated stem cells to, saving her life. A woman overcoming a rare form of cancer, meeting her match. She got a life-saving donation of stem cells from a woman who grew up in Newton. And that donation happened back in 2020, but the two are now meeting for the first time since that transplant. The 19's Amanda Crawford has more. This was the first time Diane Burson and Alex Levy had ever met, but it wouldn't be fair to call them strangers, given they already shared a bond thicker than blood. I wouldn't be here talking to you today if it wasn't for the donation, if it wasn't for Alex. Diane, who lives in New Jersey, was diagnosed with a rare form of lymphoma in 2019. Her doctors said she would need a stem cell transplant, but her siblings were not a match. Lucky for Diane, Alex, who grew up in Newton and is now based part-time in Boston, randomly registered as a donor while in college years earlier. The two were a perfect genetic match. And in 2020, Alex donated her stem cells to aid in Diane's cancer battle. It took around six hours and what they do is they take your blood, they separate it into stem cells and plasma and all the different types of blood, and then they take the stem cells, and that's what they brought to Diane. I was in the hospital for two months, but after that, I was very, um, very quickly, they told me it had taken, and I, you know, I was now using her cells rather than my own. She is my superhero. The stem cell registry gift of life connected Diane and Alex a year after the transplant, but the two weren't able to meet in person until the organization's New York Gala last week. It's amazing when you actually meet because you know very little about the person and there she comes up on the stage and um, it, it's just overwhelming to think that this is the person you know, who saved my life. You'll, you'll stay in touch? from here on out? Oh, yeah, I yeah, do. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Diane says she owes her life to Alex, but Alex says Diane has given her a gift as well, and now she hopes their story inspires others to consider donating. Nothing has been, has been this meaningful for me than this experience, and it really wasn't that difficult of a process. The odds that two people unrelated would be a perfect genetic match for this type of stem cell transplant is one in 100,000. In the newsroom, Amanda Crawford, 7 News.